Is this the one you thought would be my number one? Um, that would have been my number one. Salutations, everybody. It's me, NZ Call, and I'm here with the big why because it's his birthday weekend five for friday where we share our top five sound at least five mostly in the disney realm opinions with you so i'm going to share my top five things that this young gentleman who is turning 20 has created um that were inspired by disney just because it's proud mom moment and of the many things that make me proud to be his mom he is an incredibly talented artist and musician and um and just kind and caring thoughtful human happy birthday kiddo i love you <laughs> so if you're new here, welcome! And if you're returning, welcome back. You know what to do to let us know that you like us and to stick around. So, I'm going to get into this. My honorable mention. He likes making these, designing them, um, and those are the perler beads. I like how you're holding it upside down. And those are the <laughs> perler beads. I don't know which way Heartless goes. I just know that he has eyeballs. Um, so this is made out of just the little wax beads and you put it on the board and then you melt it and he created this and I really like it. So my number five is actually, okay, his art style is really creepy. It depends on what we're talking about because, well, so when it was like, Sophomore year? Mm-hmm. Sophomore year. So a couple years ago, I finally found a style that I was really good at. Um, this style is like a tattoo as like graffitied look. However, it's not with a tattoo pen or a tattoo gun, I think is what it's right. called. Or tattoo spray gun. paint. It's with pencil and pen. So um, this was actually one of the first things I ever did. In um, this style. And this is a character from Disney Kingdom Hearts. Um, <laughs> so is this. It's the same dude. <laughs> but I'm going to insert a picture after I show you this one because he redid this. So this was the first one he drew. And uh, it was, you can see, I love the shading and everything. Definitely looks very creepy. Like, and an. So I, I was like, feet. yeah, so I was like, the feet are a little wonky and this and that. And he did it in uh, watercolor. I love the watercolor one so much more. Just the way that it, I don't know how to explain it. The detail and the coloration and everything. So it I'm going to insert more. the picture. Um, so this one would technically be my number five. Okay, so my number four, I also don't have... Currently, so I'm going to insert some pictures. So he fell in love with creating Muppets after um, talking with his art teacher in high school. And she was like, you know what? Nobody has ever made a Muppet. So I think he took it as a challenge. And he was like, challenge Absolutely. accepted. And not only did he create a Muppet that looks like him, like he calls it Muppet Me. But he was then he decided to do a whole entire college portfolio with nothing but Muppets um, for college credit class. And in the midst of this, their high school did Aladdin Jr. <laughs> and he made this Muppet for Iago. Uh, but Iago was just a hit. All the kids loved Able him. Flap his wings. Um, <laughs> obviously not of professional quality Muppetry, but definitely amazing considering it was, it was like, like his third, third Muppet, yeah. Muppet that he made. Um, so that would be my number four. And my number three is so of... I really love his clay work, and I really love this guy. 
I'm surprised he's not higher. I'm sad. It's because. So this is my Jiminy Cricket. He made um, it huge and three pounds of gloriousness. The reason that he is not up higher is because while I love the fact that he was able to paint him opaquely like you can see the colors, it doesn't have that same glazed finish that the next one does. So this is my number three. Um, I, this is a pain. No, no, no. It's not just that. This is amazing. And I, I think he's a very talented clay artist. Like, I absolutely. I tried to make it look like a Jim Shore and I didn't actually know what a Jim Shore looked like. Until just recently, I didn't own any. Um, but this one, not only does the glaze make it look finished because the, the paint job is, uh, it lesser was, because of the way that you have the glazing it process. It was also like the first or second thing I ever made with um, However, clay and glaze. do you see the little ducky? Now wait, this is what makes it my number two. Do you see the little tiny details he was able to get on Scrump? <laughs> You're joking, right? No, I think you did incredible on that. The ear form, everything, the undercuts that he had to do to get the ears to go in like that and everything. Um, so I really love this piece and I kind of love that it's not crisp, like that the paint job's kind of like tie dye -y. And that's my number two, bringing it to my number one. So my number one is this and it says, don't forget I'm always with you. Um, this is a Keyblade, Kingdom Hearts again, because he like loves Kingdom Hearts. But this is just a piece of wood. This is not bamboo, um, which, okay, so we would burn on spatulas and like boards and stuff, like cutting boards, because it's bamboo. And bamboo takes to wood burning beautifully. However, wood, with the grain and stuff, it's a lot harder. So the fact that he was able to get just such a beautiful piece of art and the shading, I just floored. I really love this. Um, 100% also doing like lettering is very difficult. Mm -hmm. So I'm very proud of that. So that's our five for Friday. I'm not really sharing like a top five or anything, but I decided for a minute I was going to take a step back and show you all that while if you follow me on Instagram, you may know I'm a little creative. I like to create at least, um, but I absolutely think that hands down my kids far more talented than I could ever be. I'm a potato. <laughs> So that's what we're sharing. Um, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. We are definitely going to just like eat cake and celebrate. I bought him steaks. I uh, guess that's a big deal. Um, <laughs> let's not celebrate me. Merry on birthday. <laughs> I wouldn't have steaks. Dave would. <laughs> but hope you enjoy. Hope you're staying safe. Hope you are celebrating all of the milestones in your life. If you are a graduate, a graduate, congratulations. <laughs> if, and whether it's kindergarten, college, or high school, if you had a wedding date and, and the venue and everything has kind of changed, best wishes to you. If you're celebrating a birthday, happy birthday. If you're announcing a birth, you know, congratulations and, what a crazy world we live in. But whatever you do, make sure you celebrate those moments in life because they're pretty important. I celebrate him all the time. I don't uh, need to be celebrated. <laughs> I don't need it. So we hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for watching me have a mom moment. And have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.